we can easily implement the deep linking functionality in the power app but sometimes we need to implement this inside the power app for ms team hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we will try to implement the deep linking functionality inside our power app for ms team before proceeding to, to that let's try to understand what is this deep linking deep linking is the concept where we need to pass some sort of a values from the url and that value we will consume inside our application in order to reach to the specific record of the sharepoint list or maybe any list or maybe there can be another business requirement where we will fetch some data from the url and then consume it inside the application so without wasting any time i'm just navigating to my screen here in my ms team i have an app that is deep linking teams app in this app for now it is just the basic one like i just added some label and one icon so our aim is to somehow get the link of this app and then pass some parameters into that url so that whenever the user click on that url some values whatever we have passed through the url will start populating inside the application okay so there is a syntax of that so let me just show you here you can see this is the syntax that we need to follow and in this syntax you can see what are our inputs we need to provide the app id we need to provide the prefix number and inside this context we have one and entity id two sub entity id three three values and channel id because if you are building a ms power app for ms team that app should be inside some channel okay so you would need the channel id also and then you would need the group id and the tenant id as i already added that app inside my channel one of my channel so i can get some details from here so how i can do this i'll click on this and then i have an option to copy link to tab i click on this link is copied and then i paste it here and write copied from app okay now we'll paste it here and then i can see that it is similar to that of our syntax but i have some values like i have at the app id i have something at the prefix name i have that number so what i'll do i'll simply copy this one from here till here and then we'll try to prepare our url okay so we need first the app id that is from here we can fetch it Control c and then paste it at the app id place then we need the prefix number from here we can fetch this prefix number then inside the context we have some parameters and then we also need the channel id so channel id we can see that here we have this channel id but we have different places through where we can fetch the channel id also okay and uh, here we have the tenant id also so we can copy this and then paste it at the channel id place not the whole then paste it here then we have the group id just copy this group id and then paste it at this place and then we are left with the channel id yes so we'll try to take this so channel id starts from this 19 okay 19 percentage 3a till the tac v2 control c and then we'll paste it at this channel id place and then 
we'll notice that this percentage 3a it's it's a representation of semicolon so we'll replace it by semicolon and then now we are left with sub entity id entity id and this the third variable so these are the values through which we can pass our values that we can consume is in our app so for now i'm just passing only one so i'll just remove other tools from here let's delete this now i'm just left with sub entity id and then here i will pass some value let's say id one two three four okay now my ur is almost ready now it's our time to update the application so we'll open the application in the editor mode so we'll go back and in the another tab i have opened the application in the editor mode and then we'll add a label that label will implement the same function that we used to use inside our normal power app deep linking so we'll use uh, double quotes sub entity id equals and then we'll write use end param because whatever thing strings that are coming from the parameter we can fetch it from there from the param function curly braces write sub entity id okay or maybe you can just copy this from here copy go back and then paste it here okay now let's try to save this app okay I think it's going went into the read only mode okay let's try to again open this app maybe save this even I'm the same user okay let's go back and save in the meantime okay let's come back and then update this where is this Prashant POC we'll go to our teams we'll go to the Prashant no we go back and then hit the power app okay as our ui is almost ready so we need to make this text into the ul format so for that we'll use the chat gpt okay we'll copy this one and then we'll go back to this place into our chat gpt and then paste it and let's say please create the url of the below text Control V and then we'll just paste it because it will remove all this curly braces and this semicolons into some other representations. Okay, so now it is creating that. Okay, so let's try to copy this one for now and then come back to our notepad and paste it at the bottom here we can see we don't have any special characters inside this so this ur we are going to use and let's update our app maybe start now prashant poc create our app okay maybe my where is my app now oh, i should be able to see this home build prashant poc i have this app here okay now i can edit this from here maybe 
yes directly click on this one so it's now we just need to update this app okay okay so we'll add a label we say it as sub entity id equals and we use param function as always and then here we'll pass the sub entity id now we'll save this and then publish this app publish this app where in the same channel whose id we have used inside the poc general tab yes even close now we'll copy the ur which we get from the chat gpt and then just copy this whole and then paste it into the tab and then hit enter it says that it is a teams url let's open the teams the moment i click on this okay it says refresh the new version i can see this id 1234 that's what i passed if you remember let's come back here you can see we have passed id 1234 same thing i got this inside the app so let's do it one more time copy the url go to the tab paste it here and hit enter and then it again open the same so that's how we can implement the deep linking inside the power app make sure that for now it is accepting only three type of values like entity id sub entity id and locally okay if you add any other it won't be considered so just try to pass your values through these parameters itself through these variables only okay and if you have any doubt please reach out to me thank you all